Marginal cost. The marginal cost is the incremental cost of producing more goods or services for a business. The marginal cost formula is equal to the change in cost divided by the change in quantity. Let's look at a graph of how a firm can maximize its profits. Here is the marginal cost of producing a good or service. We've got price on the vertical axis and quantity on the horizontal axis. The marginal revenue is the amount of money that the firm receives from producing more units. So the point at which marginal cost and marginal revenue meet is where a firm maximizes its profits. It will stop producing goods when the marginal cost rises above the marginal revenue, as it would be making those units at a loss. Let's look at an example together of how to calculate the marginal cost of production. Imagine a firm with the following information. It currently produces 1,000 units. The cost of production is 125,000 for all of those 1,000 units. The maximum production capacity of the facility is 3,000. And the labor cost for each unit above 3,000 is $100. Now let's calculate the marginal cost of production in two different scenarios. In scenario A, the company is going to produce another 2,000 units. That keeps it just within the limit of the production capacity. It started off with 1,000 and it produces 2,000 more. The expected cost of producing those additional 2,000 is 175,000. Then let's look at case B. In case B, the company is going to produce 2,500 more units. That pushes it over and above the production capacity. But the firm can go beyond its capacity by paying an extra $100 per unit for the additional labor that's required. So it costs $225,000 in case B. Now let's look at the actual marginal cost for each. In case A, it's $50 a unit. In case B, it's $67 per unit. Let's analyze the logic here and the implications of this. For the firm's initial production that cost $125,000, and 1,000 units were produced, the cost of production was $125 per unit. In case A, producing more units is cheaper because the fixed costs are already covered and there's some economies of scale. In case B, however, it's not as effective because it goes beyond the production capacity and has to have increased variable costs. In each case, the firm would need to charge at least the marginal cost in revenue to recoup all of its money. So in case A, the firm needs to sell the product for at least $50. In case B, the firm needs to sell the product for at least 67 In both cases, it would ideally be an even higher price than that.